Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Thomas and I'm following the gaming section for Vue. In today's video I'm going to teach you how to make 360 screenshots while playing a video game that doesn't support the 360 capture. Before starting the tutorial, we need to check two important things. First of all, check if the video game you are taking in consideration is supported by NVIDIA Ansel. NVIDIA Ansel is an integrated graphic card plugin that allows you to take 360 screenshots on supported game by NVIDIA. Second, but not less important, the game must have an option to disable the HUD, and so any static elements such as HP points, map, compass, keys, we are going through a stitching process after taking screenshots needed. Static elements on a screenshot will make it impossible to make a clear 360 screenshot. As an example, I'm playing Robocraft, an indie game that allows you to build, dry and fight with your robot. I'm into a test map to show you how to work with screenshots. This game allows me to hide the in-game HUD having so a clear screen, plus I can zoom to hide my robot. Now that we have our game ready, we have to care about programs. We need one to take screenshots. The one I'm using is the same I used to record. Mine is a paid one, but there are a lot of screenshot programs for free on the internet. An example is LightShot. Then, we need a program to stitch our screenshots into a spherical one, the 360 screenshot. If you are a Windows user, there is a free program called Image Composite Editor, that works super. If you are from an iOS computer, search for Auto Panel or Auto Stitch. All links in the description. We are ready to start our work, so let's open our game and choose a standing point you'll be able to turn around without moving. I have a hotkey set on my keyboard to take screenshots at any time. Screens will be saved automatically into this folder. Let's start taking screenshots from the top, turning every time by a couple of degrees until you turn off for a total of 360 degrees, for then repeating the same process lowering the view. You don't need to make thousands of screens, you may need from 40 to 70 depending on your game resolution. You have to reach the bottom view to be sure not to create black fragments on the final 360 result. When you are done, the folder will contain all pieces to create the final puzzle. Open your stitching program and import all the screens. If you are using a different program from the ICE1, search on YouTube a tutorial that may help you, but usually stitching programs are very intuitive. Once imported the files, click on Next or Stitch and wait for the result. When done, you can adjust the inclination or position, the program will automatically detect its a spherical screenshot and then export. To test and so share the 360 screenshot, you can either upload it on Veer or you can also create an experience with multiple photos and, if you have, videos. I will also leave a quick link in the description to first upload your contents. If you are having troubles, such as a weird final result or ailments are missing all around, the reason may be that you didn't take enough screenshot, so try to make more turning less degrees every time or some element is moving around you while taking them. But anyway, if you are having troubles, please write a comment below this video, we'll answer us soon. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, like and share if you want to, and I'll see you in the next one.